y'all it is wash day for this hair so my hair is natural it straightens pretty easy so i don't really have to like fight with it a lot that's why i usually wear it straight because when i wear it curly and i go to sleep like the pressure of me sleeping i guess straightens it out so it's kind of annoying and i have to do basically double the work to keep it curly than I do to keep it straight. I know that's not typical, but that's just my own experience. So yeah, it's time to wash this. I'm gonna show you how I get good blowout results on my natural hair. So yeah, if you wanna see that, stay tuned. So these are the products I like to use. Um, the Mizani Scalp Care Shampoo and the Pattern Conditioner for Coilies. As you can see, it's probably time to re-up on that pattern, so I'm going to squeeze the last little bit out of it, and let's get this hair washed. This is how my hair looks right fresh out of the shower. Turn around so you can see. Like, it does curl up, but, you know, it's not, like, super, super curly, so that gives you an idea of, like, what we're working with. So I like to go in with the Wella Perfect Me, and this is, like, a blow-dry lotion I usually use like I don't know five pumps or so about that much and just go ahead and run it through my hair and again it's still pretty wet so yeah that gives you just an idea of what it's like I don't know why you need to know what it's like again but yeah it's wet and then I go in with the Cara Care Silken Seal and this is a blow dry, what is it? This is a blow dry serum. So it's clear, it's sort of like a gel-like almost, like smooth gel. No, it's more of like a creamy, <laughs> a creamy oil serum type texture. And I just massage that through. I also like to make sure I go like this so I get the center part of my hair. It's looking pretty wild. Now see, if my hair dried like this, I wouldn't be mad at it, but it doesn't. It just, it dries crazy. So let's get all this in. And the most important step in my blow dry routine is a t-shirt or a tank top, whatever you have that is like a nice soft cotton. And I just go ahead and wrap my hair up in that. I'm just gonna twist it into a little knot. And I usually leave this on for about like 10 to 15 minutes until my hair is only damp. So I don't want it dripping wet like it was, like mostly dry. And then we'll go on to the next step. It is time to dry. So I'm going to take this off. And I am first going to section my hair. So I like to kind of like finger comb it first. But you can see that there's a lot less moisture, so the shirt did soak up a lot of the moisture. I've also got some clips I'm gonna use because I'm going to detangle my hair and then put it in twists and then blow dry. So I just like to run my fingers through to get a section and I try to dry it in larger sections. With this top part that we're not gonna work with, I'm just gonna twist it and secure it with a clip and I'm gonna Use my fingers to part in the middle here. And I'm going in with a Denman brush. This is the blow dry brush, but I don't really like it for blow drying it. Well, blow drying my hair, but I do like it for detangling. So I'm just using this to detangle and I start at the ends and then work my way up. And you can see I'm not having a lot of trouble getting this brush through. This is a really great detangling brush for my hair type. So if you're looking for a good brush, you should check this one out. And I like that the bristles are more of the harder plastic. The regular Denman, the brushes for me are too like wobbly. So I don't prefer that one to detangle my wet hair. I'm just gonna twist. And the twists are basically just to keep the section detangled and also let it dry a little more while I do the rest of my head. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the sections of my hair and then we'll start the blow dry. Now that it's all detangled, I'm just gonna go ahead and gather all of the twists near the top of my head except for the two in the back because those are the sections that we are gonna blow dry first. I'm using the Rusk Speed Freak blow dryer and this is my absolute favorite. I wasn't getting good blow dry results for a really long time and I thought it was the products I was using and it's definitely the blow dryer. So I always use this one, I always use the nozzle. This helps you get the heat exactly where you want it so you can get that nice smooth result. And I like to start on warm to get my hair mostly dry and then hot to smooth it out. And I usually use it on the high speed settings. So you can see here, it has the three heat settings, the three speed settings, and then a cool button. I don't use that all that often, but it's nice to have it. And I'm using a 1907 paddle blow dry brush. I really like this brush because as you can see, I can get all of my hair there and smooth it on down. So for me, this is the absolute best blow dry brush. I also like that it has the metal and the paddle that warms up and also helps with my blow drying results and time. So let's start. I'm just gonna do the back section for you because I think like doing my whole head will probably bore you. So you'll get the idea seeing me work through the back. So let's go ahead and blow dry the back section. And you wanna make sure you want to make sure the nozzle is pointing the air like just over your hair. You don't want it directly on your hair because that can cause damage. Now this section is mostly dry, so I'm going to go in with the high heat setting. smooth it is mm. okay so I'm gonna do the other side and then once the other side is done I like to go over the root here because it's kind of hard to get this brush in the root with the other side still clipped I don't want to like brush through my twist so let's do the other side and then we'll do like a final couple passes with them you know this whole section together now you can see like it still has movement it doesn't look fried or like super, super dry. It's just like a really nice blowout texture. So I'm gonna do the rest of my head and then let you see what it all looks like, you know, just straight blow dried, that's it. So this is the blow dry result. As you can see, it's smooth. It still has, you know, that nice blow dry texture, but no issues coming coming through it. It's got some good movement. So yeah, that's my blow dry routine. I hope that you found this helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I have a new video every single 
Tuesday and Friday and hit that notification bell so you can be one of the very first to know when there is a new video and I will see y'all next time. Bye.